my wife was driving to the store the other day and she comes down a hill and all of a sudden she just can't accelerate anymore. The car's still on and still running, but it's um, when she tries to give it gas, it's just not going anymore. And she sent me a screenshot of this code combination. Engine light, maintenance light, VTM4, which is the four-wheel drive light, and VSA, and an exclamation point and a triangle. VSA is, who knows, I don't know, very stupid alarm. It's funny to me that modern cars will give you this crazy code to tell you what's wrong, but they can't just have it flash up a word, or even the code that they will give you when they run a diagnostic. So your next step is to run to AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something like that and have them run a diagnostic. The diagnostic I got was this. So it says throttle pedal position sensor. Now these things have several different names. Um, I've heard them called the pedal position sensor, throttle pedal position sensor. I'm going to be working off of other YouTube videos I found plus my Haynes repair manual, uh, kind of cross-referencing all this stuff. Um, my next step was to order a throttle pedal position sensor. But this um, just tells you the two bolts you're going to have to take off and just be aware that um, the whole thing is inside of a plastic housing so it might look different from the part that you get in the mail. Um, so we're just going to unplug it from the sensor. We're going to pull it out of there, put the new one on, plug it in and just bolt it down. That's the gist of it. This shows here how to hook it to the throttle housing. Here's my new one I just got from rockauto.com. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is unplug the actual sensor. Um, and I hate these things because I always end up breaking the little tabs on them. I lift it up enough to slide this plug off. Oh, I meant red. You sure? Yep. See? Wasn't too bad. And then the next thing we're going to do is take these two bolts right here out. Those are two 10 millimeter bolts. And those just hold on a plastic covering right here. Stick them in there so we don't forget where they go. There's your actual sensor right here, and this is the throttle body. Okay, next we're going to disconnect the throttle cable from the throttle cam, and you just rotate it like this, and it gives you some slack there, and there's a little groove right there, and just run that cable through the groove. Okay, there we go. Cable's out. Next, we're gonna loosen this lock nut here, and that's a 12 millimeter. This has Loctite on it, I can see that. <laughs> Once you get that loose enough, it should just slide right out of there this out of your way. Okay, there is one important thing to note about this. If you really wanted to, you could leave this part connected to this bracket right here and use this old bracket and bolt it onto the new accelerator because once we've taken this off, this is a there's an important setting here and measurement. So once we since we've taken this off and we're going to put it on the new one, we're gonna have to measure that in the end, and you wouldn't have to do that if we just left that on and then hooked it back on to the new one. So the next part is we're just gonna undo these two bolts right here, and the whole thing is mounted to this br this black bracket here. We're gonna take that whole bracket off, and it, it's a 10 millimeter. Ah, of course, it's clamped to the hose. It's one of my pet peeves about the way they put these things together. See, this one's clamped right there, and supposedly you should just be able to squeeze it and pop it out, right? Well, I almost never get these things out without breaking that little clamp. I know real mechanics probably have little clamp depressors that you gently squeeze these, but I just have lime pliers. Plier. Plier. So that's probably why I break them, right? Oh, that came off okay. And of course, we're clamped on right here too. Right here at the bottom of the bracket, the actual wire to the sensor is gonna be clamped on right there. Let's do the same thing right here. Not too bad. Try not to get dirt inside that plug. There's the old one. Okay, and so if you just take the whole thing and turn it upside down, these two right there, they are 10 millimeter. Um, so we're just gonna pull those out and that's where we'll bolt the new one on right there. Not these. These are bushings mounted to the bracket and presumably because you don't want that to be shaking around too much. All right, there's your mounting bracket, nice and dirty. And there's our old auto pedal position sensor, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to clean this real quick off camera. All right, that kind of dusted off there. You can actually see an imprint of where the old one went. Just remember it goes like that. APP is another word for it. Accelerator position sensor. Line up those holes right there and there. If you're going to use a drill instead of hand doing this, just go easy at it. It's a little snug. I don't think it was 
incredibly torqued or anything. All right, we got the new one on, and now we just gotta put it back in the car. Installation's always more fun because it's just reverse of everything, especially if you remember where it all goes. It's not fun when you have all these extra screws and bolts, and you're like, where, where did that go? I think one of the reasons these um, accelerator pedal position sensors go bad a lot is because of uh, it's right here under the on this line right here is your windshield wiper fluid and uh, I guess they if these leak it gets on this and ruins it okay, so let's go ahead and snap that back in that was easy snap that one back in now we're ready to put our cable back on just slide it down in there I'm just gonna finger tighten that so that it holds the cable right where it should be roughly where it was before. It should be pretty close because I didn't move this front lock nut at all, I don't think. Not on purpose anyway. Make sure it's set in there right. Um, and then I'm gonna pull the accelerator, that spring right there, the cam is. So just rock it forward so that you can see where the this little thing, nublet, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's gonna slide down. So pop the cable, if you can get it looped kind of like this, and then slide the round part through there, and then the cable goes through that little slot, remember that? And then just let it go to the top, and then let off of that. And we're locked back in, that's cool. Um, and I think we're ready to go ahead and plug the sensor in. Pop, snap it on there. Okay, now we would just be ready to go ahead and put the housing back over, but the deflection right here is important. The deflection of this cable needs to be 3 8 to half an inch, so 10 to 12 millimeters. So I'm, I'm starting at the one there and I'm going to try to push it down to half an inch or 3 8. Um, I hate deflection because it's just so arbitrary, but it feels a little loose to me. I'm going to tighten it. So then we would just tighten this nut right here. Inside is the adjustner nut. And up that way a bit. Tighten the lock, lock nut down. I wish there was a more concrete way to measure deflection. There probably is if you asked a real mechanic. <laughs> that feels a little better, I think. So, and the way we test this is before you finish and put the housing on, um, we're gonna have someone go in and push the pedal. And when they push the pedal all the way down, it should open the throttle all the way up. And when they release, it should come all the way open. And that's our test. Okay, so my wife's in there. Go ahead and push it all the way down and it goes all the way open. So I think that's... That looks good to me. So I feel comfortable with tight tightening the lock nut. And we might need to hold the adjustner nut still. There's no torque or anything with this. So just get it kind of snug so it won't move that way. Um. All right, here we are testing out the new throttle pedal position sensor or accelerator pedal position sensor. Acceleration actually feels a lot better than it has in a long time. Feels great. Save money, learn stuff, do it yourself.